we have arrived just before the complete sunset here we've arrived at the porcupine lakes wilderness Woo! it's gonna be a fun cold weekend cry of the wilds over here trying to park his car gonna get stuck in the snow and uh, we got plenty plenty of snow for the polks this trip we're pretty excited we're stoked tonight it's just me and cry of the wild Sleds out. Here we go. Woo! A lot Here's the gear. I can't turn that much, but there are packs. There you go. There's the car. We'll see you in a couple days, car. I got a of those buckets. I'm trying to go, I can't go. There we go. I'm so glad I worked for four different pairs of snowshoes at work. <laughs> a little bit of a challenging section here. How you guys can see real well, but we got a thank you, Cry of the Wild. We got a, a little river next to us. It's beautiful. We're on a little bit of a hill. And it's worth sniping. Last year on our way out, had his sled almost go all the way into the river. Because you're kind of dragging it at the side of a hill. So, gotta be a little careful here. I wish the camera could just pick up how beautiful it is here right now. Hopefully, the dangerous part is because you're strapped into your pulk sled. You're, you're pretty much lined straight. If that thing were to fall over, it could easily pull the cry of the wild down with him into the water. We're safe. You no, know, we came out here and barely wearing anything. I just got a t-shirt and a fleece on. And people come out in the winter all the time and think they gotta just dress up super warm while they're hiking and that's not the case. I'm taking my coat off. Me and Cry of the Wild out here are just, we're sweating. And like I said, I just have a t-shirt and fleece on right now. You definitely don't need to overdress when you're hauling a pulk and you're hiking through the woods and snow. Um, the, the plan right now, we just went out, we just saw them in a frozen lake now. The plan is to kind of hug the lake to the east side and try and find a place along there. Uh, Snipen said, who lives closer to here, said that side of the lake tends to get a lot less wind, um, which will be nice. We were, last year when we were out here, we got a lot of wind. Uh, so we're going to hug the side of the lake and try and find a good spot that's nice and clear for our hammocks and also has some good firewood. And in the meantime, we're going to try not to fall through the lake. Totally still, totally silent. That's why I love it out here in the winter. It's just it's just totally a different trip when you're out here in the winter. But that's the plan. I probably won't check back with you guys until we get to camp and kind of get things set up because it's already nighttime and we just want to get stuff set up. I gotta tell you guys, I'm trying something new this time and it turned out phenomenal. 
Seriously awesome. It's gonna come with me on every winter camp out from here on out. And that is, let's see if you guys can see, that is the remains of a toaster strudel, or toaster pastry, excuse me. Frosting, ooing and gooing on top. Delicious warm filling. And we just toasted it over the fire on these little grates that we brought. So good. That's such a good idea. I am a genius. Don't normally say that, but that's pretty amazing. Good morning, it's day two. <clears throat> and I have no idea how cold it got last night, but I stayed toasty warm. You can see my tarp loosened up and got a little close to me last night. I need to tighten the guy lines. But it snowed all night. I had kept hearing snow fall off the tarp. But I stayed toasty warm. I actually had to strip down in the middle of the night because I got too hot. But I think I'm just going to lay here for a little bit. Because I don't want to get out of my hammock. And we'll see. <clears throat> about getting a fire going and stuff, which makes me a little upset because I think the fire would get covered in snow. But I can just peek out the end of my hammock here and it's beautiful. All right, well, finally up out of the hammock and uh, let's take a look around camp so you guys can actually see what we're dealing with. So here's our view this morning. This is just out looking into the woods. You see where I've got my hammock set up. Tarp's nice and loose and wobbly. This nice snowy little fortress. It's a beautiful morning. Right, Cry of the Wild? Yep. There's a couple of ice fishermen out here too. I think it's a good morning. Yeah, was that what we were hearing? Right out in front of camp. Yep. And here's the main part of camp, overlooking the lake. The fire's still smoking. Ooh. Got a little fire pit right here, looking out over the lake. It's really a beautiful sight, beautiful day. My fingers are numb from holding the camera, so. I'm gonna put you guys away and talk to you later.